what is up everybody back for another episode and uh, on this one man it's finally time it's finally time to fix my hatch you guys know how horrible the oxidation has been it's only getting worse and worse so uh, I'm gonna wet sand it and then uh, I'm gonna reshoot it so with that being said then let's get started all right so I was told by my best friend that does auto body for a living to use 800 grit wet sanding paper. Uh, now I've already started on the car, so I'll go ahead and go out here and show you guys what it's looked like that I've already started on. All right, so this chaos you see underneath is actually what I'm trying to get rid of. This is terrible looking. Um, this over here is what I've actually already started wet sanding, and this up here is what's dried from what I wet sanded. So as you can see, that's looking perfect man that is perfect so if I can get the whole hatch to look like this side right here that'd be absolutely perfect I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of how I'm going about this I'm literally not putting that much pressure at all scratching right like that and as you see it literally starts pulling it right off And the cool thing about it is if you have oxidation as severe as I have it, you can literally take, you can feel as you're sanding, you can feel the oxidation getting uh, scratched off. So you'll know if you're going, you know, too deep or whatever. So that's the best thing about it. What's up guys, it's a new day. Uh, I actually got a good bit of the sanding done last night. Uh, it started to get dark, so I just shut it down. So I'm gonna go back out today and actually, as you can see, it's pouring down the rain today. Which is a good thing, because I'm going to use that to my advantage to do this wet sanding. So I won't have to go out there with buckets of water like I was last night. Just be able to just take my sandpaper and get to work. I went ahead and bought some saw horses, man. Can't wait to try these out. Just cheap plastic ones, but uh, supposedly they hold a thousand pounds. So uh, I went to Harbor Freight and I was looking at the ones they had. It was like... Uh, I think it was like 12, 13 bucks a piece. So like right around 30 bucks for everything, but for two of them. But they, uh, I watched a review on YouTube and literally the guy said something fell over on it and literally just trashed them. They were so cheaply made, man. These right here were cheaper and looked at the reviews and these things are pretty much indestructible and these are from Lowe's. So if you guys are looking into that, yeah. Blue Hawk from Lowe's. All right, so I'm gonna go out here, do the final sanding on the hatch. Then I'm gonna come in here and uh, we'll get start getting the room all set up, man, because uh, I don't actually have the clear coat yet. Clear coat's on its way, but it'll be here tomorrow. So I'm really hoping my goal is to spray tomorrow. Okay, so if you guys are wondering how you go about knowing whenever you're done, with the sanding process is what I did was I would sand it and then dry the whole thing and once you dry the whole thing you'll actually be able to see any shiny parts which will mean you missed a clear coat altogether and secondly if you take some water and run on it basically like if I were to go out there right now which I'm not gonna do with the camera but with the water with the rain pouring down on it you'll still be able to see any like cloudy sections in it. Basically, whenever the water's dumping on it like it is out right there right now, that's what it's gonna look like when you put clear coat on it. All right, so unfortunately you can't really see much because it's, uh, it's raining again, but you can see it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. So we actually got a storm coming right now. So once again, I'm gonna use the rain to my advantage and uh, get some wet sanding done. And this will be the final wet sanding. And this will be the last session and then it'll be done. And then I've got somebody that's gonna be coming in here in a couple hours to help me take the hatch off, and get it inside. So let me go ahead and finish the sanding and then we'll come inside and we'll get the room all set up, man. All right, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to put this thing in the shower when I get it inside to wash it with the usual dish soap. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, 
just take advantage of the rain again and go ahead and hit it with some uh, dish liquid and uh, be ready to take that thing off and bring it inside, man. All right, man, hatch is perfectly clean and looks even better now. Man, looks perfect. Still gonna do the usual alcohol prep and all that once I get it inside, but for right now, before I actually take the hatch off, I need to kind of get, uh, we got a bunch of rain coming. So I need to get the back half of the car protected with plastic so I can take the hatch off, it can rain, do its thing, and it won't matter. All right, got the car all nice and protected. I guess it'll work out perfect. So it can rain all at once now, ain't gonna hurt nothing. So now I can go ahead and set up the room. Everything is prepped and ready to go. So, now I'm waiting on the clear coat. What's up guys, new day. You're probably wondering why the room's all tore down. So let me go ahead and explain everything. Uh, the clear coat came and unfortunately they only sent one can, which is clearly, clearly not gonna do it. <laughs> but uh, I got back a hold of them and uh, they shipped the other one out. So the rest of the cans should be here uh monday or tuesday so i'm gonna have to go ahead and reschedule this for the following weekend all right so this is what it looks like sanded and ready to go so actually when you look at it you're like oh wow it looks like crap but check this out that man oh my goodness there we go that's what it's gonna look like when I clear it look at that man this hatch has never looked this good even when I first got it it looks even better than that And so there you guys see how perfect this is going to work out. Man, I cannot wait to clear that thing. It's going to be beautiful, man. So uh, let's go ahead and cut till uh, it's going to be next Friday. So uh, see you guys then, man. Peace. What up, guys? All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward an entire week. Literally, this is the following Thursday from the last one because they only sent me the one can of clear coat. Well, now I have all four. Good to go, finally. Um, so I went ahead and took the hatch off, got the hatch off, and the car isn't even here. I took it out uh, into the garage, put it in the garage, uh, but I'm going to do the hatch here. I've already got the hatch in here, taped off, and ready to be uh, cleaned and then sprayed. So check it out. Nice. Had to rearrange the room a little bit. Only thing I hated was right here. It's a little tight, but really I only need to go up underneath this little bit, like right there, just for like a second. For the most part, like all this right here, I'm going to kind of do this up here like this, and then uh, like kind of half of it. And like the majority of all this down here, like this whole section right here is all going to be done like this. All this section is going to be like this. And then uh, up here is what I'll actually do from the side. So. So. That's being said, man, let me go ahead and prep this thing with alcohol, and then we'll go from there. All right, man, everything is cleaned, prepped, ready. This thing's ready to shoot, man. This thing is ready to shoot. So. All right, so for those of you new to the channel, this is a Spray Max 2K clear coat. So how this works is you shake the crap out of the can for about two full minutes. All right, once you get that all shook up, take this little top off here, put it on the bottom, press it super hard. That releases a hardener in there, and you basically got a spray gun in your hands. It's amazing. So then you want to shake it really good for another two minutes. All right, man, it's go time. All 
Alright guys, four coats. And it is now done. So <laughs> check it out. Now I actually had go ahead and tell you a couple runs. I don't know how bad they're gonna look out in the sunlight. It might be like actually really hard to see, which I really don't care because this thing's a freaking race car and this thing looks a million times better than it did before. So check it out. What up guys, new day. Uh, it's been about 17 hours or so since I clear coated last night and uh, I wanna wet sand and buff these runs out. So let me show you guys exactly what I'm dealing with. Some are a little worse than others. It might have a hard time for you guys to actually see them but I'll try my best to get it where I can see. So if you can see that right up through there is a small run. Pretty much starts about right here and goes right up through here and stops about right here. Um, another one over here. It's a lot harder to see, but it's right here. It goes. Duh, 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 duh. It actually goes a good ways up through here. Like I can't. It's like somewhere like right in here. Really small, but it gets bigger as it goes. It's a lot bigger right in here. And then huge, you can see right there is where it gets really bad. And then that stops and then comes down. And these are the worst of the runs. If you guys can see those, starts like right there and goes all the way. That one's just terrible. And as you see, it goes all the way across to right there and stops. And other than that one, there's one more that starts like right around in here and goes right up through there. So hopefully you guys can see those. But so what I was told and I actually went to Walmart and found this. Uh, it's like a little sanding kit thing. Comes with like a little, not so much a block because I figured a block would just be too big. You know, because most blocks are like this size. So, you know, to try to do those little tiny spots with a big block, I'd be sanding way more areas than I need to be. And I found this at Walmart, and this thing's actually really cool. I think this would be perfect just to get just the runs. It'd be perfect. Uh, I was told to use a 1,000, and once everything's nice and smooth, go over that with 1,500, then buff it. So, this kit actually was perfect. It came with, uh, actually came with 400, which obviously I'm not going to be using, and 1,000 and 1,500, so it's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this big bucket right here and uh, our tub and I'm just going to set it like right up underneath here. That way you can catch the water and I got a little spray bottle where I can just spray water, dump water, however I got to do it and then just slowly start my sanding man. So uh, yeah, let's get started man. Alright man, so I'm going to start with the fit, uh, 1000 grit. Uh, so how I'm going to do this is uh, just fill the bucket up with water and I was told to actually put a little bit of dishwasher in there and mix it up and only thing I can assume is it helps to just kind of lubricate it so it's not quite as coarse. I'm not sure if that's how it actually works but something cool. Check this out. So these little sanding things just come in like a huge pack like that and I was like what? Like a huge pack a bunch of them but anyways it's got like velcro just put it on there right like that bada bing bada boom how cool is that man that's awesome all right so i'm literally just gonna dip this in here and i'm just gonna slowly just slowly start working it man it's real nice and slow i'm gonna take my time in no hurry Alright, so uh, done with the thousand and uh, I'm happy. Everything's nice and smooth. As you can see, smooth. Same, nice and smooth. So, now I'm going to go over everything with uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, 1500 now and see if I can start to get it uh, a lot less scratchy as it is. So yeah, let me go ahead and hit it with 1500, man. All right, man, I'm done with the 1500. As you can see, not too bad. Not bad. All right. Okay, so I was just told that if I only use the 1500, that I'm probably gonna have to buff the mortal crap out of this thing. Because 1500 still got a good bit of scratches in it. So I was told to go ahead and get 2000 and go ahead and go over it with that. And I actually just watched a YouTube video on like the best stuff to use like on a fresh paint job to really get, you know, to not have to sit there and work it over and work it over for hours and hours and hours. And I went ahead and pulled the plug and bought it. It was like almost 30 bucks for this stuff. But I got a lot of clear coating to do in the future. So I uh, went ahead and bought McGuire's 105 Professional Ultra Cut Compound. I actually watched a video and a guy did a test of like, uh, 800,000, 1,500, 2,000, uh, and this stuff right here literally went through all that and made it all look amazing. Once it got to about the 800, it was, uh, starting to get a little bit rough, but still looked beautiful. I was like, wow. So that is why I went ahead and chose this stuff. And then got some microfiber towels to help out. Uh... So yeah, let me go ahead and get this 2000 in there and start uh, sanding with that real quick. All right, man, so I'm done with the 2000 and just for curiosity's sake, I just wanted to see how easily uh, or how amazing this stuff truly is. And well, as you can see, here's the other stuff. This is what was done with the 2000. And check this out. Just got done buffing this. You guys remember the spot right here? Look at that. Insane. Insane. Perfect. It's beautiful. I actually couldn't believe it. Uh, this is my first time actually... I mean, I've buffed things before, but I've never wet sanded and buffed. And I've never wet sanded and buffed out runs before. So this was actually gaining me a lot of experience here. So now, I'm going to go ahead and jump to this part which will probably take the longest. This part and this section right in here will take the longest. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this now. All right, man, so now as you can see, I've got that side done. Got this. Right down through here done. I may hit one more spot right in here. But now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start working on all this up through here. All right, so this is after just one pass with the buffer. You can still see, look how much better it is, but then you can still see the haze because I need to, it's gonna take a few, a, t a few tries to get it perfect. I actually got it pretty good up through there. So let me go ahead and Give it another run up through there. Just in case you're wondering how I'm going about doing this. Just taking it. guys new day uh, got all the uh, buffing done last night and <laughs> this thing looks amazing check it out man got the runs out right there 
You guys remember those? You guys remember the runs up through there? Gone. The insane run that was in here? Gone. And all the runs that were all the way down through here? Gone. It's like teeny tiny like remnants of it left. Just barely see, but I mean if you gotta get up like this, I mean, who really cares? So now I can go ahead and strip all this plastic tape off. All right, so if you guys are doing the same thing, you might deal with some overspray actually getting on the window or the glass. Like you can see right there, I found the best thing to do is literally get a razor blade. And just scrape it, and as you can see, literally just scrapes right off. Just wipe it off. Tiny little bit left. And there we go. Perfect. Alright man, everything's, all the plastic's off, everything's perfectly clean. Good to go. Man, this thing looks amazing. Alright man, the car is back home. Hatch is back on. So now, you guys know what time it is, man. Cue the music. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? There you have it, man. It's actually crazy. It makes the rest of the carbon fiber that's on the car look like crap. So now I'm just gonna have to slowly work my way through and re-clear everything, and then everything will be back to normal, and then everything will look as amazing as it does like that for years to come. All right, so I actually got a little surprise for you guys. What? <laughs> that's right, man. Finally, no more flip fun, so you guys can stop making fun of me. <laughs> And uh, the good thing about this style, though, is that I actually have an Instagram. So if you guys want to keep up, like, in between while I'm working on something, I'm going to keep that up to date. So then you guys will know what to expect with uh, videos that will be coming and stuff like that. And if you just want to follow me and see what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. All right, man. So that's going to wrap this one up. Make sure you guys stay tuned. A lot more mods coming. And uh, be pretty much re-clearing everything all summer. Uh, Hood is next. Hood's going to be within the next couple weeks to a month, uh, just depending. Kind of work that in with the mods. I just I want to get to start. I want to get started on the hood as soon as possible because the hood, the hatch was pretty bad, and the hood's not that bad. But there's a few spots on the hood that are insane, and I don't know how. It's going to take a lot of work to get them fixed. So. All right, so with all that being said, man, you guys like the video, man. Make sure you smash that thumbs up, man. Oh, yeah, uh, make sure you hit the little notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever I put new videos out. And, uh, hmm. Peace!